Hey everybody, Juan Ortega here, your business coach, and here is your business tip of the week. Today I want to talk to you about the confidence cycle. And it, you know, as we all know, confidence is such an important part of success, who we are, and overall happiness and achieving results in every aspect of our life. And whether you believe that people are born with a natural high level of confidence, or if it's something that's cultivated throughout life, it really doesn't matter. Ultimately, whatever you believe, I think that whatever you're born with, it's more important about what you do and how you cultivate and increase your level of confidence as an adult in order to get amazing results. So I want to share with you the components that make up confidence and the importance of each one and what you can do to actually build a higher level of self-confidence. So let's start with the first component here, and these are in no way uh, in order of importance themselves. So first we need to look at belief. And in here in the slide, it says the amount of belief you have determines the amount of potential you can tap into. And so when we think of belief, it starts off with it, it, as an idea. You have to have this idea, this, this belief that you yourself are a confident individual. You have to believe that it's something Whatever it is that you want to achieve, it's possible for you. It is possible for you. You have to have a, a high level of that belief. So when you think about something big that you want to achieve in your life, how would you rate your belief in your ability to accomplish that on a scale from 1 to 10? How sure are you that this is within your personal reach? So what we're talking about here is, is really all of this is tied to your level of self-worth. And when we think of belief versus confidence is that if you don't have that idea that something, uh, all the things that you want in life are within your reach, that you're worthy of it, then you're not even going to have the confidence to pursue it. So definitely belief is that first component of the confidence cycle. Let's look at the second one here. So the second one is potential. And it says on here, the amount of potential you tap into determines the amount of action you will take. So when we talk about potential, what, what we're talking about here is really each person's own natural ability, the natural abilities that you're born with and that you have and that you're able to tap into. However, most individuals, as you've heard, as we all know, that we only tap into a very small percentage of our uh, full ability, intelligence, and capabilities. So what we have to think about here is the ability to tap into that, that potential is so important because the more you can tap into, the more uh, you, you uh, really dig into what you're fully capable as, as a human being, it's going to ultimately increase your confidence. And the ability to tap into that potential really requires that you leave behind any fear that you may have about failure, about success, uh, this, you know, leave behind any thoughts about playing small because it might uh, it, it might uh, make you seem or look a, a certain way in society or in your family or in your circle of friends. So tapping into your potential really means losing your own ego, your own uh, fears about uh, what you may be able to do and may not be able to do. And, and again, tapping into that potential is going to uh, allow you to take more action, which in this confidence scale is the next component. On here it says the amount of action you take determines the results you get and when we talk about action it, it's that it's it's what you actually do and what's interesting about this when it comes to building confidence especially in the beginning how much action you take is more important than the results themselves the results from the actions if you think about riding a bike for the first time when you're learning to ride a bike you shouldn't be so focused as to how great of a bike rider you are from the very beginning. It's all about just trying. It's about doing the action uh, of riding the bike that's more important and, and how often you take action and how long that action uh, lasts and how persistent you are. So as you know, just keep trying. The more action you take, then eventually over time, 
dull, the results will come in. But what, what happens oftentimes as children or as adults is that if, if we try something once and we don't get the results we want from the action, then we stop trying. And, and that's where you're going to immediately stop your progress. So continue to take that action. The results will come. Results is the next and final part of this confidence cycle. And results on here says that the results that you get are determine the belief in yourself. And what this simply means is that once you take massive action and you start achieving these desired results, once you get a taste for winning and when you see something is actually working, all of a sudden your belief increases and it's going to make you want to do it more and more on, more uh, frequently and it's going to want you encourage you to take more action and then of course your confidence is going to build and and you know a great example is that if, if you've ever uh, gone on a diet or gone on an exercise program the moment you can see that what you're doing works all of a sudden you want to do more of it and the, the key is really to hang in there and to continue to take these actions long enough so that you can see the results and then the results is definitely going to feed back into belief. So if you see on here how we build confidence and where confidence comes from, it, it, it's simple but yet complex at the same time is that it comes from a lot of different areas that all feed into each other. And so if you're looking to build a higher level of self-confidence so that you can achieve more in your life and in business, then work on these four areas, understand the confidence cycle, and that will absolutely build up your confidence, which will, in the end, create the outcomes that you seek. Thanks for watching.